Astoria Column is the last of a series of 12 historical markers erected in the early 1900s between St. Paul, Minnesota and Astoria, Oregon. The markers were the pet project of Ralph Budd, president of the Midwest Base Great Northern Railroad. In 1925, he announced that he and other businessmen and scholars wanted to properly salute Astoria's explorers and early settlers for their critical role in the United States stretch to the Pacific coast. Towering above Astoria, the column on Coxcomb Hill offers a panoramic view of the ocean, rivers, and mountains. Great Northern Railroad and philanthropist Vincent Astor, great-grandson of John Jacob Astor for whom Astoria is named, funded the cost of the column and the site's 30 acres atop Coxcomb Hill. The city of Astoria prepared the land and access road. The architect was a New Yorker, Electus Litchfield, who patterned it after the Trajan Column in Rome, Italy. The construction contract was awarded to A.B. Guthrie and Company of Portland. The group retained an Italian immigrant artist, Attila Pusterla, to create a bas relief technique, Italian Renaissance art form called Scrafito, combining paint and plaster carvings to decorate the exterior with a frieze of 14 significant events that occurred in the region. Construction began in March 1926 atop an elevation of Coxcombs Hill 600 feet, offering its expansive views surrounding Astoria, the Columbia River and Pacific Ocean, and coastal areas. By May, exterior decoration began, whereupon only three of the bands were completed by dedication day on July 22nd. Pasterla and his assistants finished their work on October 29, 1926. Constructed of concrete with a foundation of 12 feet deep, the height is 125 feet with an interior 164 steps on a circular staircase surrounded by 500 feet of banded murals leading to the viewing platform. Oregon State Seal is displayed atop. The column was dedicated July 22, 1926. The original costs were $27,133.96. The Astoria Column was originally designed to re replicate the 100-foot-tall marble Trajan Column erected in Rome around 114 AD by Emperor Trajan. The Roman column is covered by a continuous low relief sculpture depicting Trajan's decaying campaigns. The University of Kentucky King Library Press website, 2007, offers more detailed information. The Astoria column is an artful summary of the triumphs, conflicts, and turning points of the frontier, pieces of American Indian, U.S., and Oregon history. Within three years after completion, the coast's weather had already taken a toll on the mural. While Pasterla's technique fared well in the Mediterranean climates, the Pacific Northwest storms ravaged and threatened the carvings and pigments, and the salty winds off the Pacific Ocean began dimming and threatening the carvings. The arrival of the Great Depression in October 1929 crushed fundraising efforts. Once again, the Astor family contributed the majority of the $5,000 cost needed to stabilize the mural, and in 1936, Pasterla returned to Astoria to make repairs and waterproof the mural. During World War II, the site was closed and a blimp squadron for coastal reconnaissance moved on to Coxcomb Hill. In 1947, the column reopened to the public. In 1974, the column was listed in the National Register for Historic Places. In 1995, the column underwent a $1 million painstaking restoration, and in 2004, received a new granite plaza and ADA accessible walkway for an additional restoration cost of $1.7 million. More than 300 to 400,000 visitors annually visit the site. Stop by the Parking Lots gift shop and join in the tradition of purchasing a balsa wood plane, climb to the top, and launch them in the air. Open year-round from dawn until dusk. At the time of our visit in 2017, there was a $5 fee for parking. Driving directions to get to the column. Follow Highway 30 heading east, turn south on 16th Street, and follow the signs up to the column.
as usual, once again, I'd like to thank all of you folks for stopping by and taking in the views with us here. I hope that you had enjoyed my little presentation of the Astoria Column. Just a friendly reminder, I will be including links and further information in the video description area located directly below this video. So with that being said, have a good day everybody. Bye-bye.